Okay, so I've just come out my base to go to this train yard fight. If you remember at the end of the last episode, I said I was going to head over here. I didn't actually leave it very long. I pretty much just stopped the recording and straight away started a new one. And in that time, everyone's pissed off. And it looks like it's empty. Don't see anyone about. Right, we're going to set a different goal. So, I think the next step for us is firstly to go get some metal doors on. Um... Our base is just very weak right now. Okay, I'm going to take that fight. <laughs> I got to. I got to. I can't disappoint you guys like that. I can't just say I'm going to a fight and then not go to a fight. Now, I think that was a semi-rifle. But I did only hear one gun shooting, which is actually a bit of an issue if we're trying to counter a fight. Because you kind of want both of the parties to be on low health if you want to, like, swoop in and take some gear. Because if everyone's on full HP, or if the shooter, at least, is on full HP, then it's pretty unlikely you're going to swoop in and... Just one shot him, you know? Ooh, okay. So now it could be two guns. And that could have actually been that the guy with the semi-rifle got shotgun there. That was a double barrel. Thought I just saw him there. Maybe not. There are like open doors on this house, which could be... Which could be where the semi-guy's gone. See, this is the issue. Is I haven't seen any of the fight, so I don't know where anyone is. Dead guy down there, stripped naked. And now I'm not sure if that... If that dead guy... Is the guy with the semi, or if the guy with the semi killed that dead guy. Hmm. Is he... No way. Oh, get sniped. Get fucking sniped. <laughs> Did his semi rifle fall out the window, or is it inside? It's here. Yep, I'm dipping. Wow, that's one way to get a semi. Oh my god. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> First try. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't even going to check his body. There's no chance I was risking him rushing out with a double barrel or something, you know? We gotta we gotta get our base stronger, boys, because this, this base is going to get slapped up. This is going to get slapped up by the first person that realizes where we live. Because we pissed off a few people. I think it's our neighbor farming wood just there. Love him. Look cute, pie. Yo, dude, I just headshotted a guy for a semi. Look. <laughs> it fell out of his window when I shot him. Sick. Once you get a research, you can make one. I'll give you a supply signal. Yeah, man, I'm down. Wait, did you say you got a supply signal? Yeah. Oh, uh, holy fuck, man. Yeah, that sounds dope. Let's do it. All right. We got plans, boys. We got plans. The semi-rifle's home. Look at it in all its glory. Let's get the light on it. See that design. Oh, yeah. This shit's damn sexy. <laughs> I actually really hate this skin. I think it looks absolutely disgusting. But I'm still very happy to have a semi-rifle. Okay, so we got quite a lot of melt frags. So first things first, I'm going to craft a research bench. Just Not a research bench, sorry. A, uh, a level one workbench. Just so that we can craft everything a little bit faster. What do you need again for it? Oh, scrap, that's it. So the level one workbench is in the build section. Nope. Items? Yeah, there we go. Okay, workbench. Right, so 30 seconds on that. I don't actually know where to put it. I say we put it here, actually. I'm going to pick this chest up. Damn, boys. This is a really good start for us. We haven't died yet. How long can we keep this up? Does that leave enough space to get into this chest area? I think we might be able to get in if we do that. Can we get out? Beauty. All right. It's a very, very awkward setup, but it works. That's the main thing. It works, all right? Okay, so now we've got that down. We're going to craft some doors up. Now, the next thing I'm going to craft up is I'm going to craft a research table because I do want to start getting some stuff sorted out. Wow, we've got a lot of metal frags already. Let's get this metal door on, so we've at least got one of them. Oh, boys. It's a good day. It's a good day. Um, and we'll do a double door as well for this, this door, obviously. Alright, so we don't have space for the research table, but what I think I'll do is I'll probably, like, when I need to use it, I think I'll just probably put it in here. Can I? No? Can I put it in here? No? Not quite. <laughs> That's not good. I reckon my sleeping bag's blocking it. I reckon we can put it in when I've not got a sleeping bag down. No, not at all. 
Oh, right. There's a little spot there. So if we need to research anything, we can just stick it here. Nice. Double doors, two sheet metal doors, beauty. The whole base is stone now. And then obviously this is just a starter base, so we can like move up to a better base pretty soon. So I'm gonna, I think the plan is go get a green card, and then I can go to like sewers or something, get a blue card, and then once we can start looting the puzzles at all these different places, it's gonna make it like so much easier. So, so much easier for us to get loads of crates. So we'll do outside on this bag, okay. Yeah, so let's head to the road. Try to find some scientists, and if we can't, we can always head to the supermarket or the lighthouse. Oh, no way. No way. Another jackhammer already? That is so... I mean, we've only opened, like, five of those red crates. I don't know if some of you guys, like, real... Like, I know some of you guys will realize, but some of you guys won't realize how unlikely that is. It's a 1% chance to get it in the first place, all right? We've only opened about five of those red crates, and we've had it twice. That's probably like a one in like 200 chance or something to get to get two in that amount of crates. All right, well, we've got a few crates kicking about, so I think I am going to loot sewers on my way through. Nice weapon flashlight. That's going to be really, really good for us. We really need that. Like fighting at night is going to be so much easier and in the tunnels and stuff. Parkour, see if I can do it first time. Oh, no, fallen. But not taking any damage yet. So I usually find if you fall onto this rim, walk back around and then land between these. Oh, yeah, there we go. Between the two pipes, you take no damage. So let's just eat some food so we don't just die when we, when we fall. Oh, God, a little bit of lag there. Yeah, so you've got to kind of jump out on those two jumps there. And then you can just hop up this bit. Targeting computer. Ooh, quite a hefty amount of scrap in that. 22 scrap for one box. It's not bad at all, is it? Damn, we're getting a load of scrap from this. I think that's a wolf, not a player. Definitely some steps, though. Oh, it's a bear. Okay. I would chop it up if I had something to chop it up with. I haven't actually got anything. Yeah, and I haven't seen any scientists this whole time. We're all the way down at Water Street. So I'm going to run all the way down to Supermarket and Lighthouse. Try and get a green card from both of those. Because if, if we can run back with two green cards, that's going to be really, really good for us. In fact, first, I think I'm going to head back over to my old stash. And I'm just going to stash up another jackhammer in there. Because dying with this will be very, very tragic. Because like I said, they are extremely good for getting resources. So we're going to bank that up. I think the crate was it was over there, wasn't it? Our old stash. Fuck it. I'll put it in a new spot and we can get it on the way back. Craft up a brand new stash. Right, so. Our new stash is going to be this base here as our point of reference. And then just here, we're going to put it in this little corner. Don't see anyone about. So I'm going to stash that. Uh, I'll stash this scrap because we're not going to be able to recycle that, are we? I think the server's lagging. Yeah, I'm lagging pretty hard. I think I'm going to crash here. Yeah, it looks like we've crashed out. Alright, we're back. We're back in. We have been killed in our sleep, thank god. Jackhammer. We'll stash the scrap. I think that's all we need to stash, really. Because, obviously, the scrap we can't use for anything while we're out here. You know, we might as well try and take that home. And then the jackhammer we're going to keep for our farming. Damn, that is a pretty big base. That is huge. This is a solo server. What? Wow, that's a pretty spectacular base. On a solo server, Jesus. Ooh, there's a guy using the shot down here. Should try and take him out. Put up some goodies on him. Just about missed him. Tagged him. Wait, he's got a water pipe on his back, I think. Gotta keep that in mind. Again. Is it enough though? Do we have slugs in this? I can't remember. There we go. Sorry, dude. Oh, Jesus. Okay, he was really stacked. Green card and everything. Good crossbow, by the way, man. Hey, thank you, bro. Appreciate that. 
We'll uh, we'll take that. Leave him with his arrows. Take his slugs, his, uh, shells even. We'll get him up. We'll get him up. He was a uh, an honourable fighter. Hey, uh, I'm sorry for taking some of your stuff, dude. But you know it's the way it goes. What what do you need back? Do you really need your crossy? Yeah, yeah I know, mate. No, 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 man. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Okay, you man. Win, man. Thank you, dude. Good luck. What a good guy. What a good guy. So I reckon he probably just looted the lighthouse. So I'm not going to go check in there. Um, where's the supermarket? The supermarket's up here. I think I may just leave the harbor. Because obviously it's like more risk. While I've got all this like, you know, fat loot on me. Um, I think I'm actually going to ditch the bow. For these. For having two. Um, uh, two pipes. I think that would be a much, better, a much better way to go about. And I might actually move these out. Move these along and have two crossies as well. I think that could be a, a pretty good way to go. So yeah, we're going to try and get the green card from here. And then we're going to head to... In fact, I could recycle a load of stuff here. Can I reach that? I can. Beautiful. Alright, that clears some space up for us to do what we need to do. So the heli comes now, we can just whip our stuff off. Green card has been taken, so it could have been that that guy took the one from um, from here rather than the one from the lighthouse. But I don't really want to go check the lighthouse. There is a guy farming there. Let's see if he sees us. He hasn't seen me. I might go after him though, even though I've got all this stuff on me, because he could have a lot of farm on him. Unless we just did he just go into that base? No, he stood still over there. Let me grab this stuff and we'll go over. see me though. I'm not sure if he saw me. It's getting dark as well, but that could be to our advantage if this guy if this guy doesn't have a flashlight or anything. Now I'm not sure if he's seen me or not. He's just stomping about down here. He's, oh no, he's farming still. Changing over to the pipey. Trying to creep up on him as fast as he can because otherwise he's going to finish this node, isn't he? Did he hear me? He did. Come out with that nail gun, big boy. Tagged him. Wasn't enough, though. Where'd he go? He's just run off to the side here somewhere. Pretty hard there. I'm gonna back up and just get me some food real quick. Try and do a bit of a loop around on him. There we go. Easy does it. Lovely. Alright, he was trying to come up and over us there. I think he tried to come up and over us and thought we'd run back around the rock, so he turned around to go for us on the other side and uh Unfortunately for him, went the wrong way. We still haven't died, so we are doing pretty well here. I'm quite happy with how we're doing. And to be honest, we probably should have lost that fight. When he came at us with the nail gun, he, if he'd hit his shots, he definitely could have wiped us out there. Um, I'm actually going to shift one of these crossbows for having the nail gun. Because the nail gun is really OP at close range. Bit of scrap, bit of farm, nice bit of sulfur. Uh, some extra clothes for us. Real nice. Big thank you to that guy. And good. That'll do me. Now, I do need to go and... Hmm. Because I'm thinking we need to go get the stuff out the stash. Uh, we only need one slot, really, to take it. Because obviously we've got the scrap. The scrap pile that we can add the scrap to. And then we just need one slot for that jackhammer. So I think I'm just going to go recycle the rest of these little bits here. All these up along here. And then uh, that'll clear up a bit of space for us. Guess it was a good plan to have those uh, those two pipies in my hot bar after all. Worked out pretty well, didn't it? Um, we're going to be taking a lot of scrap home. If we can get all this stuff home safe, this is going to be a big mission for us, boys. That's going to be huge. I need to stop saying that. Mm. Alright, let's be focused. Let's not get distracted. Let's not take any little side missions. Let's just go get our gear out the ground and go home.
Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Let's make it happen. Right, so we came to this base, didn't we? I think this was our marker. And then we went behind a rock just up here somewhere. I do remember this node. That node is a thing. That's next to here. And then I think the... I think we buried it, like, here, didn't we? Was it around the corner? Was it here? No, I think it was just here. Hello? Oh, God. Here we go. No, it was here. It was here. It was this indent. It was right here. Uh-oh. Um. <laughs> Show yourself, please. Oh, we're screwed. This ain't good. It was definitely right here. Oh, this isn't good. I'm going to have to go back and check the footage, which is something I really don't want to do with all this stuff on me. Okay, boys, I'm going to have to go check the footage, because otherwise we're just not going to find this. And this is going to be really screwed for us. Okay, I've checked the footage, and it says that we put it, like, right here. Did someone take it? It says we put right here. I think someone took it, you know, guys. Oh, that's so annoying. There's no way. Oh my, oh Jesus, that scared me so much. Oh, that was terrifying. Did that scare anyone else? <laughs> I swear I got my volume too high, boys. <laughs> Jesus, okay, we're good. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm so on edge with all this gear in my inventory. Uh, let me just, uh, if any of you guys haven't seen the jackhammer before, here it is in all its glory. Oh, this is what I mean, I'm on edge. Even the cargo ship's scaring me. Look at it. Oh. Oh. And I hope my flatmates didn't hear that. Oh. Oh. We're back in home forest, so it's looking pretty good. We should be able to get inside the base safe and sound. What a haul. What a haul. 500 metal frags. 500 scrap. Was that a player? Who go there? Hello? There's definitely someone in the cave. I think they're trying to jump up. Did he have a gun? Did he have a pistol? I think he had a P2. Am I going crazy or did he have a P2? I am I'm not dying fucking 10 meters from the base. Fuck that. <laughs> Let's get this inside and go out and kill that guy. see him anywhere. Don't see him in the cave anymore. Oh, it is probably the guy that lives at the bottom of here. And I don't know which direction he's gone, but I'm pretty certain he left. I bet he's gone to train yard, you know. I reckon we should maybe try hitting up train yard. Oh, that's a semi. That ain't good. see the guy either, so I'm a little concerned as to where he's gone. Now this is the green crate I was going for, so I'm still going to take it. I see him. Even though he definitely is going to be around somewhere. This is the thing though, if we get him close range, we might actually be able to kill him. Except, the question is, am I willing to risk my gear for that semi when we've already got one back home? I don't quite know why he'd pop off at me with a semi just to run away. Okay, no, we're gonna have to dip home. I really need this Thompson, because close range, the Thompson's like almost unmatched. So I'm gonna have to try and run this home because I really don't wanna lose that. That is a massive, massive thing for us. Ooh, ooh. I was just about to say how we were getting home safe. Has he not seen me? Wow. So people are really oblivious on this server. It's crazy. Noob goey. So I don't know if he's left this guy alone or if he's door camping him or something. We are going to push up with the pipey. Try and just slam this guy. He's outside. He's above me there. But northeast. You trying to cry and climb. <laughs> Trying to climb up without making any noise. We 
do kind of need to just get close to this guy and slap him. If he takes us at range, he's probably going to kill us with that revy. <laughs> I love this guy in the base. Fight me real life, man. Is he in one of these bushes? Nothing you do about the raid. It's over for you. So I don't know if this guy is still here or if he just headed further up the hill on the left. He's calling the guy a door camp motherfucker, but I don't think he's actually here. I think he might have dipped. I think I played that a bit too slowly. Probably should have pushed a bit harder, but that could have ended up getting us killed. Who knows? Yeah, I don't see the is he holding a gun? Dude, please go back inside your base with that gun. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> He's shooting at me. Dude, go home. Go home. Please go home. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't I wasn't the door camper. I was I'm your neighbor, bro. I was trying to kill the door camper for you, but you attacked me. Oh. Yeah, sorry. How man. was I supposed to know that? No, you weren't. You weren't. It's understandable. That's why I'm not getting mad. It's all good. You picked me up. Alright, bro. I'm just I'm waiting for another server to wipe at the moment. Oh, so, so you're, you're not rushing. You you, dude, stuff. you get, you were so convincing. I fully no, thought you were I'm a Russian rushing. guy. <laughs> Jeez. No. No, I'm That's arrested. brilliant. Yo, uh, take your nail gun, bro. I'm gonna just leave it outside your door. I live just downhill from you, by the way. I live in like a little, like, uh, All right. like one, uh, one by two. Pretty small little base. Alright. Anyway, Elon, it was nice to meet Thanks, you. Man. Yeah, everything's going pretty well. I think we'll stick to the plan of doing this green card. Not get too distracted. Alright, I'm gonna head out to sewers now. I'm gonna try and get that blue card. Rad suit guy. Just out in the open here. If we can get close to him, we might be able to kill him. I don't think we actually have a rad suit yet, surprisingly. Now, has the bear attacked him and killed him? Or did he run down there? Didn't see quite where he went. The bear's chasing us now, which isn't good. But I think he just went down there. There's a green crate in there. So he's obviously not been in. He's in the cave. Tagged him. Right, now we could push into there because we do have our shotgun on us. But we need to be quick before he heals up. So I'm just going to run down there. Where's that bear gone? Okay, the bear's out of the way. Let's creep up so he doesn't realise we're about to jump in. We do have a flashlight on this shotgun which is going to be very helpful for us. Gone into the green room. You ready, boys? Right, yep, without a flashlight, there's not too much we can do there. Get that pre fire. I'm just gonna reload my shotgun. We did hit the guy pretty hard there. So, we might be able to turn this around. Just depends who heals up first. Now, we can just hold this corner, and he can actually go out the other side. He can come out a different ladder, um, which could be a bit dangerous for us. It's going to take us a little while to heal up. I think I'm just going to go out until I've done that. Because he could definitely go up to the top to a different ladder and come up behind us. So, I might just have to go and find some more cloth quickly. This isn't very good. We need we need meds, really. We can't be going in on ATHP and expecting it to go our way, especially while he's got a, uh, a revolver. Ooh, if I kill the scientist, I might get a syringe. So I think I'm just going to do that. Hope they won't get, like, tagged up by him. Where is he? There he is. Lovely, that's just what we wanted. Perfect, right. Let's slap this in and get back down, see if we can kill that guy. So I'm just going to turn it on. And I'm actually going to go down with my green card and try and find him. 
I don't hear him. That's the first thing to note. Hmm. Don't hear anything at all. He may still be sat in the bottom of these tunnels. Waiting for me to come down. Or he might have made a break for it. Who knows. But I think he's going to be in this main compartment. Personally. Unless if he's gone already. There's a crate down there. I mean, surely he knows he tagged me up enough that I might have just run away. Now, I can use the nail gun and it's light, but when I get into these tunnels, I kind of have to use the pipey to be able to use a flashlight on it. Could have sworn I just heard him. Scientist is shooting at someone. Could be him. So this is where we just were. I don't see the fellow as I thought. I think he's gone. And I think it was a scientist up this way that was shooting at him. So we can go and see if we can try and get him again. However, at range, it is going to be a fight in his favour. With that revolver he's got. And I do want to come back and do that parkour when I can. Pretty fat amount of crates on there. He's right here. That's not him. The guy's got a DB. I'm going to back up. Yeah, I knew he'd push. <laughs> Why would he fucking peek like that? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to keep this fire at range while that guy's got his double barrel. Shot him. Is that it? Is that fight over? Let's go check. I'm gonna take the corner wide just in case it didn't kill him. Don't want that DB tagging us up. Yep. And that crumpled the kid. Damn. Nice. Extra guns. Let's go. Real nice amount of gear off that guy. Real, real nice. I'm gonna quickly do parkour while we're here, and then, uh, then we'll dip. Um, I'm going to drop the 16 cloth because we've got full we're going to have a full stack of bandages after this. So, that's good. And I think we'll be alright for the tarp. I don't think we need any more cloth. We'll keep the sewing kits though. We'll either get some rope from that or we'll, uh, we'll make some clothes with it. Right, what have we got? Oh, an oil refinery. Right, that is, that is really good for us. That is really, really good. So when we come to making meds for like proper PvP, we're going to need that. Uh, I don't have space for it. Jeez, what should I? There we go. That's fine. Lovely. Right, let's get going, boys. Very successful trip there. I am hearing some semi shots, which I do want to go to, but I think we just need to get this stuff recycled first and keep focused. It's a lot of scrap already, boys. Very, very nice. Don't mind if I do. Alright, that is a really fat amount of scrap. We're well on our way to making a level 3 workbench. Just tag that guy up pretty hard. Hey, thanks man, appreciate that. <laughs> There's one way to get a semi rifle. And a P2, Jesus, okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> um. Bob that back in, bob that back in, bob that back in, boop, boop, boop. And, whew, that was gonna drop. Gonna be quick here. That's enough for me. I'm satisfied. And we're off. <laughs> nice. That went pretty smoothly, didn't it? Jeez. Alright, guys, that's the end of this video. If you wanna see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna support the channel, just leave a like down below. I'll see you next time, guys.